In the last video lecture we saw how processing and presentation of intracellular pathogens takes place. Today we will study processing and presentation of extracellular or exogenous antigens. As the name indicates, extracellular or exogenous antigens are the antigens that originate from outside a host cell. For example extracellular bacteria. These antigens are taken inside by cells either by endocytosis or phagocytosis. The cells involved in this pathway are antigen-presenting cells. Recall that antigen-presenting cells are phagocytic cells which present peptides derived from internalized pathogens. These include B cells, macrophages, and dendritic cells. The pathway starts when the extracellular antigens such as extracellular bacteria are internalized by the antigen-presenting cells. Let's zoom in, to study this pathway. When an antigen-presenting cell internalizes a pathogen, it internalizes it into an intracellular vesicle known as endosome. In the next step, this endosome fuses with lysosome to form endolysosome. In the endolysosome, the internalized pathogens are digested by proteolytic lysosomal enzymes into small peptide fragments. MHC class II molecules are synthesized and assembled in rough endoplasmic reticulum. Here, the alpha and beta chains of the molecules associate with a third protein chain, called the invariant chain. This invariant chain binds to the groove of MHC class II molecule. This binding stops self-peptides in the rough endoplasmic reticulum from binding to the MHC molecule. These MHC2 invariant chain complexes are transported from the endoplasmic reticulum to Golgi apparatus and from Golgi apparatus to another vesicle. The invariant chain is digested and only a small fragment remain bound to the peptide binding groove of MHC2 molecule. This fragment is known as CLIP. CLIP stands for Class II Associated Invariant Chain Polypeptide. In the next step, this vesicle containing MHC2 molecule bound to the clip fuses with the vesicle containing peptide fragments of internalized antigen. The peptide fragments displace the clip and bind to the peptide binding groove. These peptides are 11 to 15 amino acids long. The newly formed MHC2 peptide complex is transported to cell surface. Once on the cell surface, they are presented to T cells. These T cells recognize the peptide displayed by MHC2 molecule by T cell receptor. Another receptor known as CD4 corceptor binds to the beta-2 domain of the MHC2 molecule. Since, this pathway involves MHC class II molecules, it is also known as MHC2 antigen presentation pathway.